I worked at EDS for about 14 years. I always knew that if I lost my job at EDS, um, I would have difficulty because I had been promoted there based on my ability to do things, but I had never completed a college degree. I would go to apply for a job or go to an interview and either I had too much experience and they wouldn't look at me because they were afraid I would just get some training and then take off, uh, or I was done right out of the gate because they had a requirement for a bachelor's degree. It bothered me that I was on unemployment, unable to get a job unable to take care of my family. When I first came to Capital Area Michigan Works, uh, I was collecting unemployment. Then when I met Jay and we started on the track of the TAA program, uh, I discovered that uh, the TAA program would pay for my tuition, for my books, for you know any expenses having to do with college. I was able to go back to U of M Flint and complete my business administration degree. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of late nights, a lot of frustration sometimes, uh, but it was so worth it. Starting March 1st, I became a full-time HP employee. Right now, I'm the uh, worldwide sales readiness manager for the Enterprise Cloud Services private cloud offering. I really don't believe that I would have the job that I have at Hewlett Packard uh, without my degrees from University of Michigan. My family feels it was worth it too, even though they really sacrificed greatly. They sacrificed things they wanted, time they wanted, um, in order to make it possible for me to do this. And I'm so grateful for my family. From the time I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a nurse. I had um, four generations of nurses in my family. Once I uh, received the grant from Capital Area Michigan Works to go back to school and receive my nursing degree, it was just amazing to finally know that I had been able to do what I'd always dreamed of doing, take care of people and make a difference in people's lives. I'm currently a nurse manager at Eaton County Medical Care Facility and I absolutely love my job there. I love making a difference in the patients and residents' lives and not only their lives as a manager but the lives of the employees there as well. I love being a nurse. I know that I'm doing what I'm, I was supposed to do. I worked for John Henry for six years uh, and then in the April of 2009, um, that's when I was laid off from my first job. When I was laid off, I was actually still in school. And I was working at um, completing my bachelor's. I was about three years in. So at that point, you have to question your priorities. You know, do I continue going to school, which, you know, I was partly financing myself, or do I stop and try to find, you know, a career with, um, you know, what resources I had? But I knew that um, in order to um, switch careers from pr something like printing to you know business or marketing that I was going to have to keep going to school. I knew if I was going to turn things around, um, you know, even though you think you can you can do it on your own, you can do most of it, but you really need to rely on the help of others. And so um, when it came to getting help with my resume, um, needing funds to continue my education, which was another huge thing in order to stand out from maybe others. Um, you know, that's what really brought me to Michigan Works is just what can I do to stand out? How can I develop myself? I went to Michigan Works, sat down, they said, hey, we can get you some funds so you don't have to stop developing yourself and you can continue to go to school. And um, it just pushed on through through my master's program. I work for Kelly Blue Book um, as a web statistical analyst. In my free time, I um, helping launch an online retailer. You know, obviously I, I can see myself at Kelly Blue Book for a long time. We moved to Michigan for my husband's career in the motorsports industry and I had been warned that it was really hard to find jobs in technology in Michigan but as a designer I did not have a hard time. I, when I was ready to start looking I got job offers right away and worked for a small uh, automation control integrator. As the, the big three started cutting back and a lot of the contractors weren't getting paid and so we, our work just slowed down till a stop and it was depressing. It, it was frustrating to not be able to find work. I came to Capital Area Michigan Works to enroll in the No Workers Left Behind program to go for a degree for computer programmer analyst. The programmer analyst really tied in my background working with computers, working in design. My family, my husband, and my kids were extremely supportive, um, really had my back with the changes to our schedules and the changes to our routine. I think they've all been really excited to see me do well in school. It's been a good uh, example for my kids. I've got a house full of boys and they have benefited from seeing me 
do the homework and put in the extra effort and watch it pay off. Melissa Berg was my caseworker, and she introduced me to Dewpoint through a couple different opportunities they had. I currently work for Dewpoint, and we're a, an IT shop in the Lansing area. We, we serve multiple states, but for them, I'm currently working as a technical writer for the state of Michigan. Not to sound silly, but I really enjoy everything about working for Dewpoint. The, the company is small enough to feel like a, a family, but big enough that we do some impressive things. Career-wise in the future, I'd, I'd love to see myself continue to become a, a business analyst. I see myself moving forward in the, in the technology industry in Lansing. I really see a place for me there.